guys, so quite a few of you have asked about how I put hot curlers in my hair. So I thought I'd make a quick video just to show you that it's super easy to do. Something you can do while you get ready in the morning and then you look like you spent a lot of time on your hair when you totally didn't. So these are the curlers I'll be using. I got these on Amazon. They're the Conair Travel Set. They're about 20 bucks, And I really like the case because it's smushy. So you can just stash it in your suitcase, take it with you. You don't have to worry about the case breaking because last time I packed mine for vacation and when I opened my suitcase it was cracked and there were curlers everywhere and I ended up taping it back together and still using it but this is a little more convenient than that. Um, it zips up so it holds the heat in pretty well and they take about two to three minutes to heat up so not very long. So I'll be using these. As far as hair goes, this is what we're working with today. It's kind of a beast. I slept in it last night and I let it air dry because I know the hot curlers are pretty damaging to your hair so I figure if I let it air dry it kind of counters that a little, maybe. So first I'll just put half of my hair up and start with the bottom layer first. And these ones I'll leave in a little bit longer because my hair is not freshly washed. Usually if I just showered I'll just blow dry it, throw the curlers in, put my makeup on, and then go good for the day but these ones I'll let sit for like probably about 10 minutes it's not very long so when you're looking for a hot curler one thing you really want to look for are these little textures in the roller it's kind of like a baby comb so that helps keep your hair from getting frizzy so you'll grab your first piece and another thing you really want to focus on is the ends have to be curled because sometimes it's easy to get the rest of the hair in and then you have these funny ends sticking out. If these aren't curled, it makes it makes it look a little less polished and kind of weird. So just start from the first piece, grab your curler, grab the comb part, and just slide it down your hair. So it's like you're combing your hair. All the way to the bottom, grab the ends, and tuck the ends underneath. So that way you know that the ends will be curled and they won't be sticking out. So kind of just smooth it right there, roll it all the way up, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Grab your clip, stand to the other side, and usually for curlers, if you have thick hair like mine, you'll probably want to use the bigger ones, and if you have thinner hair, the smaller curlers will help hold the curl a little bit better. So just kind of play around with it a little one. These ones have the large and the medium curlers, and I think that's pretty much perfect for any type of hair. And also, if you have thin hair that doesn't hold a curl very well, I would spray with hairspray first. So I have both sides. And then for the back piece, I'll either do one or two back here. Today I'm just going to do one, because I want to do this kind of fast. And I'm being lazy tonight, so just curl it under, make sure the ends are in. Roll it all the way up, put in the little clip, good to go. And for my hair, I usually use all big rollers. Sometimes I'll use the smaller ones, but, but usually just the big. So for the top pieces, I'll take my hair and I'll shake it a little bit and separate out the shorter layers from the rest of my hair and just kind of flip it over. So that way all the, the length, that's the same length, will be curled in the same curler. So let's grab my curler, put it in, and I'm putting these in underneath. You can also do it like vertical if you want to, or you can change what direction you want the roller facing. So if you want your curls away from your face, you just roll them out. If you roll them underneath, it's kind of a cheater way. When you take them out, I'll show you how you can pull it down and get more vertical curls if that's what you're going for, or if you just want the ends curled under, which is kind of like what I go for. It's up to you. So you can play around and see what works best. And for these things, I definitely <laughs> didn't invent them. I didn't discover them. They've been around for a long time. And I used to use them because in elementary school my mom didn't trust me to have a smoldering hot iron by my face. So she got me hot curlers instead, and it was kind of, kind of a good way to still be able to curl my hair and feel like I did it myself without burning my face off. So I got those all in. That side's good. Same on the other side. Shake it out. Get the top layer out of the way. 
flip it over, and then just curl the last two pieces. So if my hair were freshly washed after I finished these last two, I just put my makeup on, get dressed, and take them out. And today, because my hair has already dried and kind of set in the animal state that it's in, I'll just put these in, probably hang out for about 10 minutes, do my makeup, put some clothes on, and then take them out. So I'm just going to get this last piece. I always tend to forget some of the pieces in the back, so just make sure you feel around and that you didn't miss anything. Very last one, slide the comb down, make sure it's smooth. I'm missing part of that one. Curl it under. And then set in your clip. Good to go, so I'll wait about 10 minutes and then I'll take them out. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, so I'm going to take these out, see how we did. Usually start with the top ones. So they curl a lot in that 10 minutes. And if you want to do the vertical curl like I was talking about, you'll just take the clip out, grab the bottom part of the roller, and then just unwind it going down. And that way you'll get more of that vertical curl. And what I usually do is I'll take all of them out and then let them sit for a second and then finger comb them to separate the curls so it doesn't look too surely tumble or anything like that. Just grabbing these guys. And usually you can tell when the curls set also is if they're hot when you put them in and they're like almost room temperature when you take them out. So you know that the hairs absor absorb a lot of the heat. Probably isn't great for the hair, but occasionally, sorry. All right, so got them all out. Just comb your fingers through a little bit. Sometimes if my hair is a little too crazy, when I first take them out, I'll just put it in a low ponytail and kind of like drive around like that for a little while or just hang out around the house before I leave and then before I go I'll take the hair tie out and it calms it down a little bit so it doesn't look too va va boom you know like I spent too long on my hair so there you go quick and easy I hope this video helped a little bit and I will see you later